magic of Uniswap version 3, which I don't think that the market has quite understood how powerful uh, version 3 of Uniswap really is. And so what, what has happened with version 3, if we look at this price chart, right, between token A, right, and token B, uh, is that when you're placing liquidity, for example, let's say we placed a million dollars and 10 million GPOs in the initial liquidity pool and hit the start button on Uniswap and said, everybody go nuts, buy and sell as you wish. What would happen in basic math uh, is that we would, let's say our token at say uh, starting price, 50 cents, right? Say we're launching our GPO token at 50 cents. So effectively uh, what, we would, what we could do is we could put in say a uh, million dollars and two million GPO. They would, the, the, the K value would be established. The price of GPO would be Y over X. So in this case, it's 1 million divided by 2 million, which is 50 cents starting price. And we would follow the same pricing model from zero to infinity, right? So that means that if you buy up 2 million GPOs, uh, the price of GPO will go to infinity. And then that's really thin liquidity for, for what we're trying to achieve. So what you end up doing, and what, what's happened now with Uniswap version 3 uh, that has made this so much easier and so much more intelligent, is that they allow you to define a range to place your liquidity. Instead of placing it all the way on the price curve from zero to infinity, we can define the range and say, okay, we are starting our price at 50 cents. We're going to put $1 million and 2 million GPO from 25 cents to 75 cents, right? And what this means is that if somebody, if the market buys up all 2 million GPOs, the price would move to the high end of this, which is 75 cents, naturally, because your GPOs are there. Not infinity, but 75 cents, which means you have concentrated your liquidity in this range. So the same amount of buy orders in version two would have taken you to infinity. In this version, it takes you to 75 cents. And if you were to sell all the GPOs in the liquidity pool and take up all the 1 million US dollars, your price would go to 25 cents, right? Instead of zero. So you are, we have concentrated the same amount of dollars and GPO in a range, which gives us a lot more liquidity if the price is within that range. And we know we're starting at 50 cents, so why not concentrate the liquidity in the price range that we are trading at, rather than providing liquidity from zero to infinity when the price hasn't even reached there yet, right? So this solves a big problem because it does two things. One, with the same amount of money, you get a lot more liquidity because this million dollars cash out of pocket gives you almost the same liquidity, maybe in some cases, depending on the range that you choose, four to 50 to even 100 times more efficiency. Uh, and, and that means that uh, we would need $100 million to have the same effect with version two, where we can now do with a million dollars and still give you a liquidity which is strong and it doesn't affect the price so much so that you get these massive dips. Yeah, we obviously it curves the way it goes up, but it also uh, cushions it on the way down, which in my mind, if our goal is to have a linear equity curve, we need to manage the downside. That is the most important thing. We need to protect the price from the downside. We, can, we can't control the demand. If there's no demand, the price is not going to go up, but we can control the, the, the supply, right? The liquidity. And because we can control the liquidity and we can control the range, um, that gives us a little bit of strength, as long as there's demand there, to be able to output a equity curve, which is safe, steady, and very, very, very profitable for all of you uh, GPO uh, token holders, right? So now, um, this is great, right? And this is currently available and you can manually um, enter and put this liquidity into Uniswap version three and you can launch your token. So naturally, one thing to understand actually before I erase this here, 
One thing to understand in this price chart here with the token view here uh, is that you're probably thinking that, okay, well, if we buy up 2 million GPOs, right, and we reach this level here, now there's no more GPOs to buy. So if you're sitting on Uniswap and you're pressing the buy button, and we've just put this liquidity in from this range, right, from, sorry, I erased this, but 25 cents to 75 cents, that means that the price of GPO is 75 cents when it reaches here and 2 million GPOs are sold. So if, you're, if we're now reached 75 cents, then there's no more GPOs left to buy. And if there's no more GPOs left to buy, there's no liquidity for GPOs. If you want to sell your GPOs, yes, there is, if the price will start going down and you will have more money in here in dollars to be able to fulfill the sale of GPO. So naturally, we don't want this to happen. And, and the same goes for the other side, right? If we end up uh, selling uh, and, uh, enough GPOs uh, for $1 million, you're, we're gonna hit the price of 25 cents. And then if you try and sell your GPOs after that, there'll be no more dollars left to fulfill your order. And so when, when there's no more dollars and there's no more liquidity, then it ruins confidence that you will have the ability to exit your position or enter a position in our asset class freely. And when that confidence is gone, it affects everything. Because who cares if the price is high or low if you can't sell it, right? Um, so naturally, you're gonna think, okay, well, this is great, it's fantastic. We can now provide strong liquidity in the range around the price that we are launching the GPO token, which is 50 cents. Um, and this will give us a more steady equity curve. But we need to solve the problem of no liquidity above and below this range. So naturally, right, we are going to think the best thing to do now is to take our $1 million cash that we have, and let's say that this right, is a price chart, price, GPO, time, right? So we are trying to get some curve like this, right? We know it's gonna go like this. So, so let's make this a little bit higher, sort of. You can understand. So this is price, this is time, this is the GPO chart we're looking at, right? So now we would be thinking that, okay, we're starting this price here at 50 cents, okay? And we have placed um, a liquidity in the range from 75 cents, right, to uh, 25 cents, right? So the starting price and the range is engulfing the starting price. So naturally, you're thinking that we should always be having a range kind of engulfing this price, right? This would be the right, because this way, if you ever want to buy and sell your token at any price, we could be hitting here, you know, $5. There is always liquidity available in the range. So naturally, we need to now have an automatic system to be able to take our $1 million liquidity and to automatically move it in some mathematical way with the price. And in order to, this is now where it becomes extremely, extremely custom. There's maybe two companies out there that have figured out that this is the most intelligent thing to do in order to launch a token with the least amount of money and still get the desired effect and liquidity for a lot of money. Um, so, Naturally, if you have a token that is trading for you know, months and months and it's kind of found its stability, then finding some kind of equal Boilinger band type of strategy or maybe just a moving average type of strategy where you make sure that the top of the range and the bottom of the range is sort of engulfing the price as it moves and then you move your liquidity uh, range as the price moves. So it's important for a company like ours to manage that because every time we move the liquidity, uh, we have to pay gas fees and that can be very, very high for, for this type of a strategy. So 
that is some problem that we have to deal with. And so, yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have for today. And uh, thanks for listening. If you've actually managed to stay focused for this long. Um, yeah, most of you actually uh, have been asking me uh, why there is a bed, <laughs> which is actually a thinking couch in the back of the office. So to be honest, this is the most prestigious thinking couch slash bed uh, in all of uh, London. Uh, and the reason for that is that every year we find the smartest student in the world uh, and that student gets to sleep on that bed. <laughs> and that is why it is the most prestigious internship work experience that is out there. And once you get a spot to sleep on that bed, I can promise you, you will leave the company smarter. You will leave the company more connected and more ready for the world. And that bed is reserved for the smartest kids in the world to come here uh, to work at the Golpesa Triomnia um, uh, work experience. So if you feel you are, you can apply for that, then uh, you know definitely drop us an email. And we, we take one student every year and uh, we try and spend time with them and build them into just beasts uh, in their field. So that's all I got. And uh, thanks for listening. And, uh, Wish everyone the best uh, with the Gopesa and uh, all the best.